everybody, I'm Sir Tap Tap, and in Abyssrium, I finally, finally unlocked the biggest boy, the final thing. I finally got this stupid penguin, which I hate the unlock of. Um, I'm, I'm still really disappointed with this event overall. Um, particularly, the, the Trick or Treat unlock is the only extremely bad thing before the Fall Event Fish. Um, that could have easily been 200 at, at the very most. 200 is still a lot. Um, but the fall fish are really the bad thing, but I finally got the boy, who is of extreme size. The most absolute unit. He just kind of obliterates the world with his mere existence. Um, they, they really did a good job on this one. Um, I, I'm happy with the fish. I was saying before, you know, it's a little bit skimpy on the new fish designs. I think seeing them all out here at once, I stored everything but the new ones. Um, I think it, it, it was a pretty good event in terms of new designs. Um, it's just that it feels more like an extension. It's like a DLC pack for the 2017 Halloween fish, which was one of my favorite events. And hardly the worst thing, but I definitely think they could have managed this a lot better with the new event. Mostly the fall fish. Everything else I can kind of accept. Except the fall fish unlocks were extremely bad. And the vitality cap. So about the vitality cap, some people are saying that, you know, oh, eventually these um, below the pot here, see, they do eventually start giving more um, per second than, than the pot. So in theory, I guess some people are thinking that it will eventually be possible to, um, to continue beyond... Um, and to actually get the fall fish. So the fall fish may be possible, but it'll probably take like the whole month. I'm so sorry for that noise. Um, and we don't, we still don't know what happens if this event ends, so to speak, or if we just get this tank forever. Um, because of the new event style. I, I really don't know how that's gonna work and they, they still have not commented on anything. They have not edited the event in any way. They did update a little bit ago and all that does is adds a little in the gear menu. There's a restore purchases button now. So that's that's about it, which is a pretty standard. I thought like games were like required to have that on like Android because I've seen that in so many games. Uh, Survive Mola Mola doesn't have one though. Which, that's one of the... I paid for that game to get rid of the ads, because uh, I liked it. Um, and it, it didn't come over. But I lost... I didn't get to carry over my save file anyway, so I kind of gave up on that. Fun game, but not really. Uh, if I lose my save file, I'm not gonna bother with it. Um, so that's pretty much Abyssrium for me. Um, I'm just waiting for the next event at this point. Um, Food Fantasy, if you saw my last live stream, I was pretty down on the game, and I've decided to pretty much... Um, not just food fantasy, but I'm toning down all of my mobile game stuff. I just It just eats so much of my time, and I just I, I've stopped playing basically all of them And uh, I just feel like I have so much more time when I get home from work, and I I just kind of think I gotta not really do those. I'm gonna with food fantasy I'm gonna try to keep up with the guide kind of like I do with Abyssrium. I won't play it very much myself But if there's a new event, I'll take a peek. Um, maybe we'll do some live streams like I do with food or with Abyssrium um, If there's an event worth checking out um, but I, I, that, 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 that Toso Mercy, no mercy crap really soured my mood and the, the, the pizza event. So the pizza event, I could have gotten four star pizza if I had not missed one day. I didn't spend crystals. I only spent crystals one or two times, um, because I didn't think I would have enough crystals in the last day. So I decided to save them for Toso. And it turned out, because of some crystals I got in between then, I did have enough crystals. And I basically straight up lost out on 4 star pizza, specifically because of those crystals. I was like, rank 309. Um, and you have to be over 300 to get it. So, uh, I really hate ranking events in these kind of games. Um, Makai Wars did one of those, and it really burnt me out on that too. Uh, I really find them unfun, and I... I mean, I did get three star pizza, not to say that pizza even at one or two stars is not great, he is, but that's just really not fun to me, and it combined with the Toso crap, combined with all of the the Reddit drama of people pretending to think there's no mercy mechanic. There's a mercy mechanic in the um, in the gingerbread event, by the way. Um, so if you're worried about that one, no, it's really just the super limited characters. I think if it's a if it's Boston Lobster or Double Scoop or any of the limited characters that are returning, Assume no mercy mechanic seems to be the thing. If it's a regular character, 
Um, even gingerbread or um, bamboo rice, who I think have lower counts, um, they seem to have the mercy mechanic. But then again, the thing is, with the mercy mechanic, since they don't officially acknowledge it, they can change it at any time, and they just depend on their, you know, stupid fanboys to just be like, Oh, well, they never said there was a mercy mechanic, so it hasn't been removed. You were just lucky. It's like, yeah, hundreds, thousands of people were just lucky until the Toso event, and then all of them in lockstep turned unlucky, and then all of them became lucky again the moment there was another banner after that. Hmm. 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 And people are like, oh, you don't have you don't have stats on that. It's like, dude, whales do hundreds of pulls. They know this shit. And, and thank you to people who provided data for that. Um, but yeah, that that really soured me on the game. I, I'm reinstituting. This is a rule I had for myself before, but I'm going back to no no new games that have gashapon mechanics. Um, and for me, that even includes um, what's it called? Xenoblade Two, Xenoblade X Two, whatever the the one that went back to being anime. You know what I mean. Um, I, I, Co Cosmos is Gashapon in that game, and it's a it's a paid game with a non-paid Gashapon, and Cosmos is like 0.1 billionth of a percent, and it's like no, but I wouldn't want to play the game until I get Cosmos, and you can't, and I think you get Tielios for free now, but like, screw you, I want Cosmos, <laughs> God damn, it's stupid. I, why would you put a Gashapon in a in a paid game, and you're not even scamming for money, you're just like bleeding the fun out of your players like it's not fun gambling is not fun kids so yeah it, it, there might be some less food fantasy stuff um i will like i said I'll, I'll try to do stuff when it's important um but i i'm just kind of not really into the game anymore for now um what else we got so like i said quit quit most of my mobile stuff i still play star ocean a bit um, Star Ocean is the one Gashapon game that has not really screwed me over too much. It did screw me over for 2B, but I'd never really played near, so I was not as bummed as I could have been. I was just annoyed that I pulled that many times. That's the first time I've had bad luck in that game, honestly. Um, but the game itself is, like, active and playable, and you don't really... I don't, I don't feel as screwed over as I do in Food Fantasy. So, aside from that, I've been playing, uh, Wipeout Omega Collection, which is fantastic on PS4, and I got Bulletstorm Full Clip Edition for PS Plus. And it's, it's pretty fun. It's, you know, it's a dumb action game, and I honestly think I really needed, you know, just something dumb and have fun and no grind BS, no gambling BS, just a real game. I just needed a real game to play, and so I'm like, I just fought the, the big plant boss. Mew! And it's been fun. It is, you know, immature and stuff, but it's... It's not what I expected considering the reviews and stuff. I remember people like hating it and like, oh, it's terrible. And like super upset at it. And it's really not as vulgar as I expected. It's like a stupid, cheesy, we know this is dumb kind of vulgarity. Like it's it's fully aware of what it is, what's trying to be. Um, I wasn't entirely expecting that. I did not play it last gen. Um, I'm kind of pleasantly surprised. Uh, it's kind of that Borderlands kind of humor where you'll you'll like it or you'll hate it. And I don't hate it. It's it's fine. Um, it's just, like I said, it's just like a dumb action movie. You just want to watch, just something easy to watch, and you just don't want to worry about it too much. Um, it's that kind of game, and that's kind of what I wanted right now. Um, me. Hi, Parker. Um, house has been going okay. I think my idiot landlords might have finally be looking at some things to fix the leak and all that crap. Uh, so that's cool if, if it actually happens to be true. Uh, I never know if they're actually going to end up finally fixing things or not until it's actually fixed, so we'll see. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to kind of play less mobile, grindy stuff. I'm just going to get back to doing some... Um, hi, Parker. Um, you know, playing some regular stuff. And uh, hopefully get some videos on demand ready. You know, regular uploads. Um, Taking a semi break from streaming as well, just to again, just to have more time and get get back on stuff. I got a lot of cool stuff that I just haven't played because I've been so busy. And I'm not one of those people that prides myself on, oh, I'm so busy. Yeah, look how cool I am. No, I <laughs> I, I despise being this busy. So, yeah. No, this might, you can't drink my coffee, honey. Um, the, the funny thing is, I just got like a brand new flagship. Well, not a brand new flagship, but I just got a brand new Pixel XL One. Um, which is a really high-quality phone, still performs fantastically. Um, my first, I think, 
the straight up flagship phone. Because um, I usually went for the Nexus line of phones, which were fantastic. Um, just a little bit lower on the performance line, you know, they're like $400 phones. This was originally a $700 phone, I think, is a Pixel XL. Uh, I got it for 270 bucks. I'm very happy with it, but <laughs> I, I no longer play so many games on it. But um, the camera is fantastic, so I can get some good Parker pictures. Which, by the way, uh, if you support me on Patreon, I, you get a full album of Parker pictures every month. And you get, um, at certain, at five bucks a month, you get early access to videos that I do. And at 10 bucks, you can be in my credits for every video for that month that you pay. And as long as you still keep paying, you, uh, you stay in those video, end of video credits. And I think there's some pretty cool rewards if you check them out. There's, there's always a link to my Patreon in the description. I put a lot of links in the description. Um, check out the description if you haven't before. Yes, you are a fluffy boy. Parker is interrupting as always. So yeah, that's early. Or er, that's it. Kind of an early update this week, but I've, you know, I figured I may as well do it now. Because I wanted to record me making the football fish. And I, I don't feel like I'm done until I make the football fish. So I wanted to get it out of the way. But yeah, I, I think... I think this event needed a lot of work, but... I don't entirely mind the concept of the separate tanks. My, my worry is, though, that it seems like the other tanks get abandoned. Oh, honey. I'm doing things. Um, sorry, my cat is bumping my mouse. By the way, if you want to know how I play on the on the computer, so to speak, it's called Knox Player. It's just straight up Android. An Android device emulated on your PC. And I really recommend it for Abyssrium. It really, gets really grindy out of it without it. Um, my main worry is that they just, like, abandon tanks now. Because Freshwater just seems totally abandoned. It's a terrible lag fest. Uh, Saltwater has felt abandoned for a long time other than events. And now that events are separate tanks, they feel like they will be abandoned. I really wonder if we'll get, like, a carousel of different events that we can just select all at once. Or if this goes away. I hope not. Because I, I want to keep this tank. I, I put a lot of work into that, so... My, my, my hopeful thing is that, like, we'll just get a carousel of events, and as long as you qualified for an event, you get to keep that tank. And, because, like, the candy doesn't transfer, I'm, like, a thousand percent sure, so... I don't see any particular reason to take it away. But it's Abyssrium, so they'll find new and exciting ways to disappoint us, don't worry about that. So, that's the week. Thanks for watching. Hope you have fun.